So back when I first started working with Michael Controllers and Arduino, um, I had no idea what was going on. I mean, I couldn't like make an LED light up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know what a resistor was, and I'd pop it, and it was awful. Anyway, so I watched a Ben Heck episode. Uh, I think he built like a, some kind of Arduino communication device, and I was like, oh, that looks easy. I'll just buy one of those, and then like it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> so eventually, I started following tutorials uh, on YouTube or on or whatever, and it made it a whole lot easier. Like you could copy these people's code, you could learn from their code, you could learn from their parsers, you could learn from what they've written, and it just made it a whole lot nicer. Uh, I would say like 90% of the time, I would build something and it would work perfectly fine, and it was great. And then there was like another 10% where you'd build something, spend like an hour wiring it up, spend like 90, like, like 45 minutes um, reading through their, art, their article, like 45 minutes like checking the pieces, and then finally you got to turn it on and get all excited, and then as you turn it on, it, nothing happens, it doesn't work. So. Like, this happened to me 20 or so times, and eventually I think I smashed like an Arduino board. I mean, I was a lot younger then, so don't judge me. Um, eventually I noticed that if they were using a different Arduino to me, there was a small chance it wouldn't work. So like, say for instance, if they're using Arduino Uno and I'm using Arduino Micro, there's a small chance it might not work. Not always, it could work, most of the time it will work, but there's a small chance it won't work. So in this video I'm going to talk about why it doesn't work some of the times, how to get around that issue, and how to make sure your board will work with any project, no matter what they use. Let's start off with an example. Let's say I want to wire the Arduino Uno to the Arduino TFT. I might use this guy's tutorial, and in this guy's tutorial he says to wire it exactly this way to the Arduino Uno. When I do that with my Uno, it works perfectly fine. But if I use the exact same tutorial with the exact same pin layout on the Arduino Micro, it just doesn't work. Which was really annoying. Now the weird thing was that most of the time the Arduino Micro would work for pretty much any Arduino Uno project, but there was like a 1 in 10 chance of it just not working. So let's find out why this didn't work and how to fix the problem. Now first off, before we can do anything else, we have to understand something I like to call dedicated pins. They are SCL, which is clock line, SDA, which is the data line, MISO, which is master in, slave out, MOSI, which is master out, slave in, SS, which is slave select, TX, which is USB communication, and RX, which is other USB communication. These pins serve one function and can't be changed in code like the digital pins. Pretty much all popular Arduinos and most microcontrollers have these pins. Take MISO for example, Master and Slave Out. On the Arduino Uno, it's located on pin 12. So d digital pin 12 acts as a digital pin, but it also acts as MISO. But if we took a look at the Arduino Micro, MISO has its own dedicated pin, which is not on pin 12. The dedicated pins are specific pins that are found on most Arduinos that serve one function. You'll find a lot of components take advantage of these dedicated pins, and you'll find that this is the reason that a lot of projects end up not working. So now let's go back to our previous example where we wired the Arduino TFT to the Arduino Micro and it didn't work. Let's see why it didn't work. If we take a look at the Arduino TFT's pin layout, we'll see it has the MISO, the S. CK and the MOSI pin, which means that it will be using the dedicated pins on the Arduino it's connected to. Great, so now we found the issue. Now how do we make this TFT work on this Arduino Micro? Well, first thing we have to do is take a look at the Arduino Micro's pin layout. You can find these by just searching Arduino Micro pin layout on Google. You just go to images and you'll find it pretty easily. Now the first things first is we've got to look at that board again and see what dedicated pins it wants to use. So my TFT wants to use MISO, MOSI, and SCK. Now I gotta go look at the Arduino Micro's pinout and look for MISO, MOSI, and SCK and see where to connect them to. So once I've found all the dedicated pins on the Arduino TFT, I can connect them to the corresponding dedicated pins on the Arduino Micro. And then for the rest of the pins, I'm just gonna connect them the exact same way as a person did in the tutorial. And then I upload the code exactly as they did. And there we go, now the TFT works. So now let's take what we just did and make it into a step program so we could use it for any project. So step one would be to take a look at your components and see if you can find any dedicated pins. They are labeled with SCL, SDA, MISO, MOSI, SS, TX, RX, like we discussed before. If you find any of these, you know your component wants to use a dedicated pin and you're gonna have to move on to step two. Now let's take a look at step two. So once you've identified a dedicated pin on your component, you need to find out where that dedicated pin is on the Arduino you're using. So the first thing you need to do is go and find the pinout for the Arduino you're using. You can just search Arduino and then whatever your board is and then pinout. You should find it in Google pretty easily. So once you find the image, you have to look for your dedicated pin. So let's say we're looking for MISO. 
We're going to have to scroll through this until we eventually find the MISO pin, and in this case, it's connected to this. So now that we found the dedicated pin on the components and on the Arduino, the next step is going to be to connect them. So first things first, we're going to connect all the dedicated pins on the components to their counterpart on the Arduino, and after that, if there are any leftover pins, you can connect them the exact same way they did in the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. As always, there's a written article with details and pictures in the description below. If you enjoyed it, click here to subscribe, or to check out my other projects, you can click here to check out the playlist.